I bought it I walk with the Holy Ghost as God in the earth today Holy and I Ghost walk with God him by speaking in agreement with his word it works Holy Ghost your God Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and you walk with him by saying words my name is Andrew Hemstrock thank you for joining us if this is your first time here make sure that you subscribe and if this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you then consider becoming a partner with us some things in the kingdom of God are worth more than other things it's that way in the natural it's that way in the spirit too some things have more value yeah. a lot of people major on the minors mm -hmm. and I'm not saying those even the minor things they have some value say some value. some value my point here is that there are things in the kingdom of heaven that have more value than other things Matthew chapter 13 verse 45 the kingdom of heaven is like unto a merchant man seeking goodly pearls who when he had found one pearl of great price say one pearl, one pearl. of great price went and sold all that he had and bought it this one pearl was of great value mm -hmm. so he had lots of pearls but he sold them all say all when he found this one and what's this like the kingdom of God the kingdom of heaven yes. so he's implying here anyway that there is a certain thing that if you get a hold of it has more value than all of the other things combined so there were others but this the one that he found was worth the most mm -hmm. say it was worth the most. worth the most it had the most value and so he put all of his effort all of his funds into this one pearl of great price I've bought into this and I'm gonna sell you on it what I'm talking about tonight I'm buying this say I'm buying this, I'm buying this. what did he do he bought it I meaning and, and if you buy it it's gonna cost you a lot of those other things that you thought were of some value say of some value, some value. But you're gonna to have to go all in buying this which means you got to let go of some other things mm -hmm. that might get in the way of this now some are shocked when I say that the pearl of great price is the person of the Holy Ghost because they have some other thing going on in their head Jesus called him the Holy Ghost the promise the promise not a promise right. the promise if you followed Jesus what he said you would be here with the Holy Ghost and know that he is the pearl of great price Jesus called the Holy Ghost the promise Acts chapter 1 verse 4 and being assembled together with them commanded them that they should not depart from Jerusalem but wait for the promise of the father which saith he you have heard of me meaning he said it before for John truly baptized with water but you shall be baptized with or into the Holy Ghost not many days hence what was the promise the Holy Ghost the Holy Ghost is the promise Acts chapter 2 verse 38 then Peter said unto them repent ye and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost you repent and believe on Jesus but you receive the Holy Ghost say I receive, I receive the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost. who's the promise verse 39 you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost for the promise is unto you are you here who's the promise 
the Holy Ghost Jesus said the promise was the Holy Ghost here the Apostles in Acts chapter 2 said the Holy Ghost is the promise I'm telling you he is the pearl of great price you got to go with me on this if the Holy Ghost is God is the Holy Ghost God yes. yeah is he in the earth yes. yeah if the Holy Ghost is God in the earth then the way we walk with him and I'm going to talk about this is by saying words mm -hmm. Acts chapter 2 verse 1 and when the day of Pentecost was fully come they were all with one accord in one place and suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind and it filled all the house where they were sitting and there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as of fire and it sat upon each of them and they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began so here's the promise Holy Ghost came into the earth this is the beginning of the Holy Ghost in the earth and they began to speak as he gave them utterance if the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and we all agree he is and the way we walk with him is by speaking in agreement with his words are you here I'm buying into it they spoke as he gave them utterance so he's giving them something to say and they spoke the things that he gave them to say say they spoke, they spoke. what he, what he gave, them gave them to say God in the earth people walking with him by speaking the things that he gave them to say mm -hmm. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 3 through faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the Word of God so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear and we know this also from Genesis chapter 1 what did God do he said things and it came to pass now here's saying he framed the worlds out of the Word of God so what is this world that you are in right what is this world made out of words, words God's words Holy Ghost came into this world which is made out of words where do you live in this world, in this world made out of words he came into this world made out of words how are you gonna walk with him in this world made out of words but by speaking in agreement with him and his words That's right. if the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today this is the way we walk with him he made the world out of words and then he entered into it he made the world out of words and then he entered into it where you were already there how are you gonna walk with him by speaking words Amos chapter 3 3 says how can two walk together except they be agreed be agreed means say the same thing God entered into this world and if we want to walk with him we have to say the same thing this is huge huge what you don't want to walk with God I'm trying I'm trying to tell you I'm bringing you way beyond where most people have been the Holy Ghost is God he's in the earth and the way you walk with him is by saying words mark chapter 9 verse 23 all things are possible to him that believes I'm trying to get you into belief belief in what you say belief in this that the Holy Ghost is God in the earth and you walk with him by speaking in agreement with his words by speaking mm -hmm. say by speaking. by speaking I believe in it this message has been refined down
to this simple statement you might think it's just so simple how could that be it's highly significant it's highly valuable now I've been around for a while I've been involved with many ministries I bought been under many ministries and learned from many ministries but they never taught me this you wonder how people miss it and it's because they haven't they haven't refined it down to the pearl of great price the pearl of great price is this that I'm talking about mm -hmm. and you have to buy it yes. I've bought it I walk with the Holy Ghost as God in the earth today and I walk with him by speaking in agreement with his word it works buy this I implore you you need to drop some of those other things that won't buy you what you need I'm telling you this will buy you what you need I remember the man with the pearl of great price right he had all those other ones he bought this one why why would he buy this one because it was worth more than all the other ones combined right. now I have experienced this I've personally received healing deliverance from situations answers from heaven angelic intervention and certain prosperity I've personally experienced this through what I'm talking about tonight the what I've bought into and I speak from behind the veil and if you can hear my words I will take you there now if the Holy Ghost is God and he's in the earth guess what he's already spoken a lot of things they're already spoken say they're already spoken, they're already spoken. in the earth they're already here mm -hmm. you know we have a scripture that says all the promises are yes and amen well he already spoke them yeah. so his sides already been spoken right second Peter chapter 1 verse 20 knowing this first that no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation verse 21 for the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man but holy men of God's what Speak. holy men of God what spake. spake holy men of God what they do they spake holy men of God spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost so these promises came into being all of them by holy men of God speaking as they were moved by the Holy Ghost he already spoke it say he already spoke it, he already spoke it. where's that leave you if you want to walk with the Holy Ghost speak it. you have to speak it you get in agreement with him so the fact is he is in the earth and he has already spoken certain things you choose to walk with him by the words that you say by the words that you choose I've bought into this I want you to buy into it I'm sold I'm a user with a testimony I'm not going back I'm not gonna deny this faith that I've been brought up to say this faith this faith a this faith fact that the Holy Ghost is in the earth and I've learned how to agree with him See, sometimes you got to get just keep saying these things over and over again and you know come around the mountain on a different side so people can get it this is the faith frankly that Jesus will return to people who know the Holy Ghost as God and walk with him in the earth by saying words well I'm a user with a testimony I do this I've bought it I've lived it I'm living it now never underestimate the transforming power of the spoken Word of God never underestimate the transforming power of the spoken Word of God 
never underestimate the power the transformative power of the spoken word of God Hebrews chapter 11 verse 5 by faith Enoch was translated meaning changed and transformed that he should not see death and was not found because God had translated him for before his translation he had this what testimony. testimony that he pleased God before the translation say before. before that's the key before he was translated he had something what did he have testimony. a testimony that pleased God now what kind of testimony is gonna please God what God said yes. now that word translated means transformed it's the Greek word that we get metamorphosis from like a butterfly right but he was changed into something else that's the point he was changed into something heavenly you may be in a situation where you need a sick body transformed into a healed body which would be heavenly right you may be needing to be transformed from someone who's in lack to someone has who has abundance well before the translation or before the transformation you have to have something which is a testimony or words spoken that please God a testimony is something said is your something said pleasing God if it is you'll be transformed if it isn't you won't be transformed you'll stay put well I'm all in worshiping the Holy Ghost I speak in agreement with him and oftentimes it takes a hundred percent commitment in many things it takes a hundred percent commitment before you see a result can't tell you how many people just dabble in something and they never they never get any results from it the same thing with the Holy Ghost you need to have this revelation by it that he is God in the earth today and you're gonna walk with him by speaking in agreement with his words when you make that commitment then things will begin to happen for you but there is a pathway to healing for you there's a pathway to prosperity for you there's a pathway to youth renewal for you I'm distilling it down for you tonight this is it knowing the Holy Ghost is God worshiping him and speaking in agreement with his word so what is your greatest possession knowing him and speaking walking with him especially in the earth yeah we you know we can all say knowing him but you know yeah we know him but that you could have nothing from that mm -hmm. frankly knowing him and walking with him is your pearl of great price mm -hmm. say knowing him, knowing him and walking with him walking with is my, my pearl of great price he is the promise and walking with God by saying words is my pearl of great price I've bought it and I'm happy about my purchase Amen. well how could you buy that how could you not Joshua chapter 24 verse 15 choose you this day whom you will serve but as for me and my house yeah. we will serve the Lord all the promises of God are yes and amen he's already spoken them they're already here they're already in the earth already spoken you need to walk with them when you're walking with them you're walking with him because he already spoke them right yes. many don't know this and won't like it but many don't know this all the promises of God are like a registry in a store that you go in and choose the ones you want choose you this day whom you will serve you can choose to walk in healing and health how do I do that by choosing to 
speak in agreement with healing and health promises that are already spoken you can choose to walk in prosperity and wealth how do you do that by choosing to speak in agreement with prosperity scriptures you can choose to walk in youth renewal how do you do that they're already spoken they're already yes and amen you choose them choose you it's your choice you choose Psalms 35 27 says that we're to say continually say say continually that's all the time Joshua 1 8 says say day and night well when I, I when I say I'm choosing choose you this day whom you will serve when I say I'm choosing this who am I serving the Lord my God when you say it enough a joy comes up out of that verse of Scripture that surpasses your understanding it surpasses your circumstances you just chuckle at a situation that could have been devastating to other people because you've already had the answer you become a different person you become a different person proverbs 10 22 the blessing of the lord makes me rich adds no sorrow with it proverbs chapter 10 22 on your lips changes you into a different person changes you into made rich no sorrow added you're transformed you have to have it on your lips first are you here first peter 2 24 on your lips by jesus stripes you were healed first peter 2 24 on your lips makes you a healed person and sickness cannot stay in your body how do i get transformed in this by saying it and when i'm saying it i'm walking with the holy ghost he's actively involved in my situation i have chosen whom i serve are you getting this yes. at some point in your saying you realize that word that you've been saying and saying like i said saying continually psalms 35 27 saying day and night joshua 1 8 that word that i've been saying goes out not only does it change me but it goes out and does something in my situation i wish i could get this across to people that word that i'm saying goes out and does something in my situation i didn't do it i'm not even trying to believe it i'm not really even thinking that much about it i'm just speaking in agreement with him he does it that word went out and did something this becomes a pearl of great price to you especially to people who do it people who've bought into this I give you my testimony this happens all the time because I do it all the time first Timothy chapter 6 verse 17 charge them that are rich in this world that they be not high-minded nor trust in uncertain riches but trust in the living God who is the living God holy the Holy Ghost he's alive and he's in the earth today we're gonna trust in him we're gonna have faith in him we're gonna understand how to walk with him in the earth trust in the living God who gives us richly all things to enjoy who gives you richly all things to enjoy living God the living God personally gets involved in your situation when you speak in agreement with his word 
when you speak in agreement with the Holy Ghost he gets personally involved in your situation the Holy Ghost gets personally involved in your situation when you speak in agreement with his word how do you get the Holy Ghost personally involved in your situation do you want the Holy Ghost personally involved in your situation yes. then you're gonna speak in agreement with his word with his word well how long how long until confession is made unto confession of the word changes you but confession is made unto and he gets involved the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and we walk with him by saying words I've bought it I've bought into it I'm a user of that it is the pearl of great price there's nothing of more valuable nothing of more value than that I'm all in and when you get all in the Holy Ghost will get personally involved in your situation he cares about you he cares about your needs he cares about your situation but he must have words his words he'll personally watch over his word to perform it we won't turn there that's Jeremiah 1 12 it says God personally watches over his word to perform it whose word his word and when you're saying his word he gets personally involved personally involved in your situation and you shall see a performance of it in your life let me pray for you Holy Ghost I thank you that these people are blessed and they've heard your word and as they begin to speak your word they will see you in manifestation in their situation and great things will begin to move in your direction says the Spirit of the Lord as you vocalize my word into your situation so fear not we thank you Holy Ghost that those things are happening now in these people's lives in Jesus name amen, amen. if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me Holy Ghost I worship you I thank you that you are personally involved in my finances your blessing is on me right now I am made rich and I have no sorrow added to me in Jesus name the father is in heaven Jesus at his right hand your God in the earth today.